You used to have to choose between scaling and snipes, but not anymore. One of the hallmarks of the snipe archetype is having a strong early game, but generally falling off in the late game due to getting outscaled. Well, a new pet just dropped that turns this whole notion on its head. It's called the Brahma Chicken. Now, the Brahma Chicken on Faint will buff three pets on your team that have dealt damage this battle. In almost every scenario, this translates to buff start of battle snipe pets. With Mushroom Brahma Chicken at the helm, you can focus all your efforts on leveling your three powerful snipe pets and just letting the Brahma Chicken scaling engine pull your team into the ultra late game. Alright, and two level ups on turn three. This is fantastic news. Um, so I think Buy Sell Griffin makes sense here. Now, of course, that will put us in a four squad, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, ah, the, the lucky cat's tough, right? Because we're not going to get the gingerbread till t turn until we get to tier three anyways. So it's kind of just sitting there not doing much. So if we can find a tier two next turn, I think I'm good at the baboon. Something like this. Oh, dude, these rabbits are a little bit too unchecked. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the rabbits lately ever since they have the new update. Um, so, I think Bigfoot's gonna be our big... What? <laughs> our big tier 2 that we're running here. Um, I mean, we could even side stack them here, I think. I don't see a problem with that. Um, we are getting the given triggers here, so hopefully... Yeah, of course the... <laughs> of course the baboon hits the wrong Bigfoot, whatever. Um, I mean, the rest of their team is pretty weak, so I think we're good to go here. Alright, so game plan. Here's what we're thinking. So we're letting the, the toy trigger down here as we're looking around at the rest of the team. If we can find some lucky cats, I'm always down. I'll give it a go. I mean, I'd love to try out the Great Patu. <laughs> the Great Patu. Surely that's not an actual bird, right? They come up with some whack names for birds, though, so I wouldn't doubt it. Um, but yeah, so we can get some snipes going here. That'd be kind of cool. Great Batu basically scales his health based on the number of start of battle snipes you have. Which is kind of a cool ability, if you ask me. But for now, we get another one. Uh, we could throw some figs in here. Um, this looks good. We get another Patu. The real struggle then is going to be, how do we get any amount of uh, attack on this homie? We really don't have a whole lot of attack synergies here. We got like eat me cake and stuff, but that's that only gets you so far. We'll go fig here. Now important to note, they changed the figs. Uh, I don't know when they did, I didn't see the patch notes that changed it, but Bigfoot level up. Um, so they, they go before attack instead of start a battle. So unfortunately, you know, we're not going to be triggering Patu with the the fig from the Barghest. But in theory, Barghest could, could trigger its own weakness ability with its fig. So that's kind of what we're going for. And yeah, there's more of the rabbit thing, whatever. <laughs> Seen that plenty of times already. We don't have a tier 4. Um, so I think we get rid of the baboon here. I don't think he's necessary. We find the crocodile, which is also going to trigger the great patu. Beautiful. I'm glad we hit the patu there. We did find an eat me cake. Maybe we, maybe there's more merit to this patu than I originally gave credit. Uh, that's fine. We can get another, we got like a lynx or something. I think that'd be really nice. I'm not seeing too many right now. And by that, of course, I mean I'm seeing literally none. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. But a 1310 ain't nothing to scoff at, you know? Take the early level. We do find the chicken. So this Brahma chicken is the, the fundamental basis of this build, right? So you get three snipers, and the Brahma chicken just goes insane. You give him some sort of, I don't know, mushroom of sorts. And it's just passive scaling. You don't even have to worry about scaling, really. 
Brahma Chicken does it all for you. All you gotta focus on is getting levels on your snipes. You get the best of both worlds. You get the high level snipes and high stats. You really can't ask for anything better. Um, unfortunate snipage here. Do we? No. Oh, actually, yes. The Brahma Chicken OP. Brahma Chicken out here doing work. Bigfoot's cooking up pretty well here. Um, do we have a side stack? Probably not. At some point I would say yes, but I don't think yet. <laughs> we might even just want more variety in our snipes, you know? You don't want to have all of them funneling in on the back units. We get a little here and there, if you will. Dude, this Brahma chicken's going insane. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. This guy's goaded. Not Brahma chicken. I meant the Patu. I was looking at the Patu, but I said Brahma chicken. The Patu's going insane. Brahma chicken, I think, has potential, but we we're gonna have to find some some mushrooms or something first. I mean, you think about it. Pteranodon is kind of like a mushroom. <laughs> you know, you gotta squint, of course, but we're, we're kind of close. There, and then let's just roll down a few times. There's a lynx. I mean, honestly, do we get rid of the Bigfoot here? Or do, <laughs> do we do the unthinkable and get rid of our great Patu? <laughs> the Patu is just so much fun. I hate to get rid of him. Even if it might be the correct play. We'll see, we'll see. We're, let's not rush it here. Let's not go too crazy. Quality snipes. Love to see it. Crocodile saved us there, by the way. They had turkey. It was so over. Alright, here's where we have to make our decision here. Are we keeping the Patu or are we going Leopard Lynx? We could get level 3 Patu, but I think... I think we need to pivot, you know, if we're going to make this work, I feel like we need to get the links in here. Really show off the build, you know what I'm saying? Show off our Brahma chicken synergies. Um, give us a little more info on what we're going to roll into. I'd love just, we don't need a level 2 Pteranodon. I'd love to just get the level 2 chicken, not have to use this gingerbread, but, you know, if we must, it's fine. So now we should be getting 4-4 four, four per turn um, on these three units, which is pretty awesome. Of course, it's going to take a little bit to scale up here, but I love where we're at right now. We do find the Brahma chicken soon after. And then as soon as we get a mushroom, it frees up this Pteranodon slot. That puts us in a pretty good spot. Now we could get the Eat Me Cakes on the the cheetah, the leopard. I kind of want to see it through, get some more experience on the Brahma Chicken. So let's just do this, or more experience on the, the leopard to be fair. He's looking a little low. Um, I think we are good here. Yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. Wait, no, are we? We're drawing. Drawing is good. Drawing means more runway. And that's exactly what we need here. We're scaling. <laughs> Something a snipe team has never said before. We're scaling. Show me the late game. The late game snipe team. Alright. I mean, we're getting the lynxes. The leopard is the best one to get levels on, but we're not finding any. Dude, another friggin' rabbit team. What is going on? Can we just, like, cut it out with the rabbits for a second? It's getting a little old. Okay, what else have we got? We do find the last Brahma chicken. Which we don't need, but now we can get the mushroom, which is awesome. And then we can get rid of our Pteranodon. 
So that's the sequence here. Um, hopefully, see this? That's tough. This is the downside to the Brahma Chicken play. If you get reverse sniped, ooh, mushroom. If you get reverse sniped, you're in a bit of a doo-doo situation. Pardon my French. Um, can we find a leopard? Just, just throw me, throw me a bone here. All right. Let me get some hammerheads. Now that we have this level three, homie. I guess we keep crocodile. I think we'd be in a really good spot right now if we could get even just a level two leopard. I think would be fantastic. Just, I'm not seeing it here. Okay. And we got one, pretty much one turn to go. I'll take the crocodile because I'd rather have a crocodile than nothing. There's one. Can we get level two? Come on. We got three rolls. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Heart of the cards. I hate to see it. Okay. There's the chocolate. Okay. If we draw, I guess, we'll get the leopard, but... Oh, dude, this team's looking huge. Oh, and they're all 50-50. <laughs> oh, no. If we had, what, two more turns? Not even. A single more turn, and we would have scaled probably enough to, to get 50-50. Here are the lessons learned so far. I think we're in a good spot as far as ordering, sequencing our, our build path. You know, you got the Pteranodon if you don't find an early mushroom. It's a great stand and it pivots out well, I love it. Where I think we need to improve is our gold economy usage. We didn't really have much. We got a, a late homie there, um, a hammerhead to help out, but I think it was too little too late. I'm going to try to get an earlier economy setup going and see if that can kind of expedite us along. Maybe get some earlier levels on our snipes so that we can really focus in on getting our Brahma chickens going. And maybe we don't invest as much into the Patu. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, I just don't think that the Patu fits in the kind of archetype that we're going for here. I love the Patu, don't get me wrong. But I don't think he has a place in our late game build, so therefore we don't need him. That's where I'm at. Feel free to disagree, <laughs> but that's where I, what I'm thinking here. Uh, we will take the win here. Fantastic news. Um, do we take? We could try to get greedy. Oh, we do find a fish. Give me another fish, and I'll be extremely happy. Um, I'm happy-ish, I guess, with the penguins. Run it like this. I don't love this. It's kind of awkward, a little clunky, but... We might be in a good spot, maybe. We do get the dumb, for what that's worth. Grounded. 07. Best of luck to you. All right, start me here. What do we get? An early Lynx. Okay. This is starting to play into our strengths here a bit. Run it like this, get rid of you. So this may be a little too greedy, trying to get this. Like we're really forcing the fish angle here, but if we can get the fish going, I, I'm hoping I don't regret it. <laughs> we'll put it that way. I'm, I'm just hoping we don't regret it. Okay, start me here. I mean, with brain cramp, it's hard to... It's hard to lose, you know? I had to wait to make sure I didn't lose to say that. I mean, hold on here. We go... Combine here. What if we get a lucky cat going? That's a pretty solid early economy, if, if I do say so myself. Lucky cat? Griffin's not bad. Lucky cat. Ooh, okay. I didn't actually think we were going to hit it, but I'm glad we did. So now we're getting two gold every turn. We got lucky cat gold generation. We're still looking for the fish. Um, I am starting to regret the fish. Uh, I'm sure you're wondering by now. Yes, the fish <laughs> does not feel very worth it right now. 
but it's okay. It's all right, we're, we're hanging in there, we're doing work, getting it done. Um, pineapple really doesn't help. Pineapple is one of those you put it on only once they're like level three, when you can actually make use of the whole thing. We could just get a little lucky cat action going here. Um, oh, we have two lucky cats. I think we just might. We'll wait one more turn, and then we can go lucky cat, lucky cat. And then if we can get one more, that'll be four gold per turn. And I think that should be good enough to really move us along on this journey. Um, we take a draw. Draws are great. Draws get degrees, as they do say. We got a cow. <laughs> I hate giving up on the fish. I, I hate losing out on the, the fish potential. It's sunk cost fallacy without a doubt. But I am falling for it. And I do every time. <laughs> Every single time. Are we just gonna throw the manatee back in here? Is that the plan? No, that'd be ridiculous. For a 2-1, we might as well just get the pair. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, how are we looking here? Would have liked a one shot there, of course. But we're good. Mr. Leafington. Like an axolotl player. OG, real C is real. I like it. Try a fig again. Maybe not though. Maybe that's where we went wrong. Maybe we got too many figs. There's a chocolate. I wish we could use it on our fish, but <laughs> unfortunately that's not gonna happen. Holy Christmas. Okay. Give me a second here. So we need to do this. We need to do this. Hold the cow. Probably run a mantis shrimp here. I think our brain cramp is going. Let's ignore these two. As tempting as those stars may be. Great snipes. And we're good. Brain cramp coming in clutch. He's trying to earn his spot on the team. I can respect it. Unfortunately, it's not going to make the cut. I think we're going to have to... Hey, thanks, but no thanks. Run it like this, throw in a chocolate here, and then we can just double cow. Now in this case, I think we want to try to evenly spread the scaling here. Because, in theory, our Brahma Chicken's going to evenly scale everybody. Brahma Chicken me? No. Crocodile's not bad, though. It's another snipe. That could be our third snipe, maybe. I think the swan's gotta go. Um, what do we get here? <laughs> Another crocodile. How did you know that's what I was shooting for? Alright, hear me out here. So we go here, we leave the two crocodiles here, okay? Hope that we find a third one. And then we get a Brahma chicken. I don't know if we're gonna have room for the for the pteranodon. That's where I'm struggling right now. Who are we getting rid of? We're getting rid of the gold scaler? That'd be ridiculous. Let's put the pteranodon in for a second. And then we can kind of see where we're at here. Links, maybe. There's a mushroom. Okay. Pteranodon can go. We have the mushroom secured. We're still looking for the Brahma chicken. Dude, this is going to be one of those where we just never find the Brahma chicken, isn't it? We did find our third crocodile. Yeah, so I think at this point, we got one goal. Our critical path at this point in time is the Brahma chicken. If we find one, I think we're going to be in a good spot. If we don't... I don't. <laughs> we're probably not going to be in a good spot. Oh, okay. Alright, we're in. Failed out. You know you're in a bad spot when you have a single target in mind. 
your quote-unquote critical path. It never ends well, but I do it to myself too often, trying to make builds like this work. Or here. We found Brahma Chicken, now we have chocolate outs as well. Chocolate as well as Brahma Chicken. Um, probably not. Ooh, okay. That's insane. In one turn, we got a level 2 Brahma Chicken with Mushroom. That is beautiful. More rabbits. Love to see it. My favorite teams to play against, the rabbit teams. And we're gonna take an L here, which I don't mind, to be fair. I think that's totally fine. Let's just, let's just buy them all. Get all the mantis shrimps. A lot of tier ones. Okay, quite literally all the mantis shrimps. So our links is pretty well online. Um, what else are we looking for here? Really just Brahma chicken, right? Oh dude, these guys are cooked. <laughs> oh, it's over, dude. Rip the scaling. We went against the... the, the rough, low scaling hurt team. Okay. It went well. In a lot of ways you could call it there. I don't feel like we pushed the boundary. I don't feel like we really full sent it. It didn't scratch the itch yet. We got one more. Full send. Let's get it done. We gotta we gotta be able to full send it. We gotta get everything going here. Be some wavy hedges. You ever go to like a really fancy gardens or something? You know, and they just got like the wavy hedges. That's what we're going for. That's the objective here. Now you love to see this shop. This is the ideal turnout where you just get immediately turn two. <laughs> you get how many is that? Five duplicates? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, what the heck is this? What do you got going on here? Not much, apparently. It would seem. Back up to five. Love to see it. And we get a spider pill. I think we, we might as well see what we get here. A dolphin. Okay. Early snipes are always appreciated. And I'm kind of thinking, so we go ant here, and let's grab... I think skeleton dog. Now normally my, ta my take on it is... If you're given those two options, take Skeleton Dog if you're planning to keep your guys for a somewhat long-ish period of time. Which I think we are. I think we're planning to do at least the Mosquito Dolphin for a little bit. Those are our snipes right now. And Barghast is just good with snipes. So that's what we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put our our money on. See if we can make it happen. I mean I'm always gonna take Griffin, do a little buy sell. This is the kind of pack where it's like, it feels like you're you're doing loot boxes <laughs> in a sense, you know. It's always nice to have something to look forward to, and I feel like the Griffin trigger is just that nice payoff for relatively little input, and you can just like do your thing, make it happen, uh, without having to worry about doing all this extra whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we'll take level up here. I guess... Mm, I don't like that actually. I, I We should have put the other dolphin in there and then put the 2-2 two, two dolphin in front of the... Uh, in front of the skeleton dog. I think that's what we should have done. But otherwise, why are we four squatting? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Why are we putting four dudes out here? And we're leveling even though we can't take it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that turn very much. But it doesn't matter, because now we're running these guys. Uh, we don't really want to stat up the turtle, so we're going to run it like this. So I've learned through trial and error that the... Uh, what's his name? The octopus looking dude. Why am I so bad with pet names? Um, he's not very good, because he activates start of, start of uh, battle, but he's really low attack relative to our snipers so it ends up running after our snipe wave so he's, he doesn't do a whole lot for us now that we have dolphin level 2 we could put a pineapple on him but I, I honestly don't love pineapple on snipes I just don't feel like it 
it's I don't think the payoff is there. Now I guess if they don't have anything else in general, then <laughs> maybe it's worth it. Do one more roll. Mm, yeah. Kraken, that's his name. Now that I see it again, I remember. Alright. End turn. Let's see what we got here. I mean we're doing well. We're at five hearts. Early snipes are always good. So that's just bonus is we can get into late game because we have early snipes and our late game is also snipes <laughs> so i'm telling you this is best of both worlds you get the early game you get a clean pivot into late game you don't even have to sell snipes if you don't want to but we probably will i don't think the mosquitoes long for this world i think there are better snipes we can target here and honestly i think we have enough runway where grapes make some sense here I would even maybe get two grapes, potentially. But I think for now, start pulling the mosquito toward the door if, if you catch my drift. Let the skeleton dog scale the other homies. Uh, I think we links here, ditch the grape. I like the grape, but again, maybe we just focus on, on our homies, you know what I'm saying? I wonder, does that unicorn permanent buff stay permanent on the pet that wasn't transformed yet? <laughs> How does that work? Not sure. I mean, this is just a clean turn, right? You just get two level ups, call it a day. Prepare for the following turn. Now we could have hammerhead sharked there. Ooh, stowed is actually really good. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the, the statistically best way to get ourselves a a uh, special chicken. I forget his name again. <laughs> like, if you're trying to target one specific pet on the tier you're at, is it better to run to buy sell stoats or just roll? Question. I'm not sure the answer. I'd have to run the numbers. There's the Bama chicken. What's his name? <laughs> I don't think it's Bama Chicken. But let's do Cow here. Um, the Brahma Chicken, that's right. So we'll put the milk on you. Uh, we get more crocodiles. A little bit underwhelming, to be honest, but I think we're okay. So now we're getting 3-3 three, three per turn. Right out of the gate, love to see it. Snipes, always cooking. We get this weird rhino trigger, but we're good. What do we got here? Not a whole lot. Not really looking to buy sell yet. But if we find someone better than the skelly dog, we will. And this is just the best turn you could have possibly hoped for. One of the other games we also got in one turn. I guess the other one, we didn't have a Brahma Chicken at all, and we got the level 2 Mushroom. But this one's pretty good too. We went from just a base level 1 to a level 2 with Mushroom in one turn. We take those. I mean, surely we win this, right? Or not? What? M maybe not? <laughs> what happened? It was perfect lethal on our Dolphin. You hate to see it. 16 health. Um, let's see. Maybe now we get rid of the Skeledog. We just get more snipes. <laughs> no, that might be too much. That might be a little too much. I'd rather get like economy or something, right? Or maybe more Brahma chickens. The Obama chickens. Oh, ho, 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 ho. brother, look at all these stars, dude. Hell yeah. And we can actually, this is perfect gold efficiency. Sell you, get another Brahma chicken, and there's a mushroom in the shop, brother. Now you're speaking my language. So I think this is our team. We got two Brahma chickens, we got three snipes. What else could you hope for, you know what I'm saying? What else could you possibly want from a team? And now we have snipes, we have scaling, we got the whole package. I don't think the dolphin level is really gonna cut the cake for us, if you will. I think we're just looking for Brahma chickens and lynxes. We can get more links, that'd be cool. Is the plural lynxes or lynx? Lynx eye, lynx, lynxer. Oh baby. 
we don't win here we getting some brahma chickens tonight <laughs> we eating good and we're definitely not winning here i mean you would need leopards to, to beat this team that's fine that is totally fine you know leviathan is correct we all know it not sweating it at all unless we go against more leviathans then i might be a little bit Y'all ever heard the saying, do something to your heart's content? Is it to your heart's content, or is it till your heart is content? I was thinking about that today. I'm not sure. I always thought it was to your heart's content. But it kind of makes more sense if it's until your heart is content. Then you say it quickly, like, till your heart's content, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just rambling because this is kind of autopilot right now. <laughs> this is, we're just looking for duplicates and letting them scale. It's great. I love it. <laughs> we got the scaling online. We got the double Brahma chicken mushroom combo. That's a satisfying team. Let that one run a couple more turns and we're cooking. What is that? 8-8 eight, eight per turn on three guys. 24, 24. Beautiful. It's a good time. Definitely try it out. I like this team. A lot of fun.